The 5G Cal project, or Connected Automated Logistics project, is a consortium of different organisations, including universities and private companies, which were brought together by the lead partner, Northeast Automotive Alliance, and it's to provide a proof of concept for automated logistics on the Nissan manufacturing site in Sunderland. So the project is all about retrofitting an existing yard tractor or terminal tractor vehicle capable of towing a 40-ton trailer between a parts warehouse and the main manufacturing site itself. And the way it does that is a combination of autonomy and teleoperation. So the teleoperation aspect really relies on a, on a 5G or a strong network. And in this case, we've got a private 5G network, which is in place and that enables us to remotely control the vehicle from a location within the Vantech facility. The vehicle itself has a range of sensors available that we use within the different algorithms. So some of the main sensors we use are LiDAR, and that is to position itself within its environment. So it's constantly comparing a current live scan to a pre-recorded map and that's how it knows where it is within its environment. That's augmented with things like GPS to, to feed into those algorithms to make sure we've got some level of redundancy in that measure. We also have things like radar for object detection and we have a, a wide range of cameras on the vehicle. We also have some smart cameras and LiDAR mounted to the buildings and on some poles around the site. This provides an extra layer of safety when we're running trials and operations so that we can monitor the vehicle. The vehicle itself sets off from the, the Vantec warehouse in autonomous mode, so it autonomously drives out of the loading dock and along the route towards the north side of Vantec up to a, a barrier which sits between Vantec and Nissan. At this barrier point, it's where we need some assistance from the remote driver. So the vehicle will autonomously pull to a stop and it requests a, a go or no go authority from that remote driver. And then the vehicle carries on up around the route towards the Nissan site itself. Again, there's another barrier that we have a, another go, no go signal at. Um, and we also have a non-priority junction at that point. So we pull to a stop and again, we, we ask the remote driver to provide some assistance. The vehicle then departs and sets off on its journey up towards the rest of the Nissan site. So this project was really to, to get to this point where we have a proof of concept and that's what we have now. So we have a, a live vehicle running around on site, towing trailers and we're collecting all this data. And then what we'll do is use that to really inform what we need to do next in terms of developments on the truck and on the remote workstation. The next six months to a year stage is to look at how we turn this proof of concept into a commercially viable service. And then it's about how we scale that from one vehicle to three vehicles to, to more than that.